Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel and let's do the freshest PSVR news in the village because this village always likes to keep you up to date on all stuff PlayStation VR. So let's just do it. We're gonna start from anyone's diary, a game that I spoke quite a few times now on this channel. So it's got release date and it's gonna come on January 31st. You'll be able to go to your PlayStation store and download the game. This is a PlayStation exclusive. In this game you following a person who is anyone. It's got no gender, it's got no age, it's got nothing apart from being anyone. You traveling through the world as anyone sees it. And this world looks beautiful. Love the art style of this game. It's all got like this papery thing, paper cutouts, whatever. It's got like this psychological vibe to it as well. Gonna be PlayStation exclusive in development from March 2017 and finally two years later nearly it's finally coming to PlayStation VR. Gameplay wise you helping this person so you like a, another character a bit like Moss as a reader in Moss when you helping solve the puzzles so you can travel through the world and this kind of happening in this game you helping to solve the puzzles so anyone can say yes finally I got the path thank you you amazing person, I gonna go and jump over this gap while you go and look at me and admire how nicely I'm doing it. I'm really looking forward to this game, I really like pretty much everything about it. Sometimes you can look at game and know that it looks either shit or good and this one looks very very good. I love platformer games, I love puzzle games, so having that on PlayStation VR is just best mix of the gameplay elements I like. Plus if you're fan of Moss and platformer games and puzzle games it's definitely definitely for you so remember january 31st save the date now let's speak a bit about ace combat 7 how many times playstation vr owners was disappointed by vr mode quite few times now i gonna disappoint you even more first of all let me tell you i read article online i think on vr focus if i'm not wrong i can't remember now that the vr players will be able to play online, yes, online will have VR mode in it. It won't, I checked it out, it, it's not happening, I don't know why they was thinking it does, but it don't. Unless I'm wrong, they are gonna apologize in future, but I went through the all developers' official statements and latest statement says that VR players will get free VR missions, as we know of, an airshow mode, as we know of, airshow basically you're gonna tell planes I think what to do like make them do some loops and shit but you're gonna stand on the ground and just be watching it so I don't know how exciting that sound looks like something they just put in there and also hangar mode and hangar mode is when you go into a hangar beautiful square building called hangar yes how amazing seeing hangar in VR I always wanted to see hangar don't want to see anything amazing just hangar give me hangar and I take it I'm buying it now because it's got hangar mode but in this hangar there's some planes and you'll be able to admire them you'll be able to walk to a plane and see yes that's a nice wheel also I'm a big fan of this little winglet over there. Regarding the free flight mode, the latest statement says nothing about it. So we was thinking free flight mode might be there, but it looks like free flight mode won't be here at all. Just, you know, just to crush your dreams. I'm still buying Ace Combat 7 because I gonna play it flat. I like Ace Combat. So I definitely looking forward to it, but I really looking forward to check out VR missions. Hope they good, but I'm already disappointed that there's not much VR content in the game. But what can you do? If you're planning on buying Ace Combat 7 anyway and got PSVR, then definitely worth checking out VR missions. But to buy it just for VR, it's a bit of an ask, as it's very, very expensive. It's a price of a full game. Okay, now moving on to Honor and Duty D-Day. I want to speak about release date. What's happening is the developers said they've got a bit of a struggle with ratings and basically the Peggy ratings might not be ready, which is a European rating for the January release and the game might release in February because they don't want to split player base. They said because it's an online game and people playing online together around the world, having it only releasing in US area of the market and making European people wait, it's gonna make the player base smaller and no one wants to do that. So it looks like the game will come in February. We're still waiting for another beta anyway this month. So you're gonna be able to play it this month anyway. 
but February it's not that much of a delay and I'm looking forward to Honor and Duty and at least we all gonna be able to play together. Ok, now Tokyo, Chronos, a uh, upcoming visual mystery novel when you read in sheet and finding mysteries. What's happening is it's meant to release in February, it's got delayed. Oculus Go and Vive players gonna have to wait till end of March now to receive the game and PlayStation VR players it's gonna have to wait until summer July. But at least on good side in July gets warmer, it's so cold lately. But in July it's gonna be nice and warm just for you to put your headset on and explore some mystery visual novels. Anyway, next story. PlayStation Move controllers, we've got yet another patent, we've got so many of them patents now, but this is the another one, looks like it's an improvement on the one of the other patents, anyway this controller looks like it's not gonna be for this version of PSVR, might be for the future version, unless Sony gonna surprise us, but I don't see big massive giant bulb on tip of it, so if it's gonna come to this PSVR, I think they're gonna have to do some new camera, I don't know, and unless they got some tricks up their sleeve, nobody know, but anyway this is your new move, have a look at it, that's how it might look like, might not even happen, with patents you never know. Now ok, let me go back to the Shadow Legend, because the brand new trailer playing for you in the background. This game took people kind of by the storm, last trailer people watched it and say, ah, I'm liking what I'm seeing, I saw dude giving carrot to a horse with his own hands, and the horse yeah, it did, it's so amazing, you can forge your own knives and everything, you can have proper VR combat, you can even block with your sword. You can cook a steak on a frying pan and in this trailer they even show you how you can communicate with a dog and you say to the dog, sit down, lay down, roll and dogs goes like, okay, I do it. And he does it. So Shadow Legend looks very, very interesting in this game. You gonna become Grand Master of the Knights Templar. And this is a story driven medieval crusade as developers describing it. You'll be able to freely explore densely filled worlds and use your sword, bow and magic skills to save your kingdom from the destruction of Lord Adoro. I think I'm saying his name right, I don't know, but this trailer looks pretty, pretty beautiful. So the game got speech recognitions, very nice, there's gonna be very realistic inventory system. A apart from exploring the worlds, the developers said there's gonna be some epic boss battles. I love boss battles in the game, especially in VR, so definitely looking forward to it. Plenty of movement settings, including natural smooth locomotion, there will be blink movement, smooth turn, snap turn and free turning, whatever you want, basically, they give all the options to you. So this is Shadow Legend for you. They're shooting to release that on PlayStation VR in May, but it's like they say it might be delayed, might not, depends how, how you think it's gonna go for them. Anyway, coming back to Kingdom of Blades, I spoke about it other day, the little slushy bashy game where you slashing and bashing things with your swords. Reminds me a lot of Fruit Ninja, I like Fruit Ninja and I liked it in VR, but we got some more info about it. So first of all, this game gonna be very, very cheap, it's only gonna cost $9.99, and as we know, it's gonna release in Europe. Europe on January 15th, but US gonna have to wait a bit longer, but not that much longer, because it's gonna be down there on January 17th, because they had to do some extra testing on something. So get ready to do some slashing, N little game, I'm glad they did price like that, looks like very, very appropriate priced game. Anyway, coming back to the community posts, because I forgot to mention something the other day when I've done my community segment, because I'm just a very, very forgetful Paul. Polish Paul. So basically I want to talk about Apex Construct, the developers got pretty cool competition going on for the players. The game lately got Signia Coop update when it's like a competition and it's actually real life competition now, it's things got serious, the jokes are over, it's time to become a man, because whoever holds a top 10 position on the leaderboards in Signia Coop challenge by January 17th, then that person will get $20 PlayStation Network gift card. So if you got Apex Construct, then definitely go to the game and try to be the best, because you can get nice $20 if you wish so. But if you one who's the best, not only in top 10, but top 1, if you're the number 1, then you'll be able to win bonus prize, which is boxed version of Apex Construct and Apex Construct Canvas Painting signed by the studio team and Fast Travel Game t-shirt as well. Well, it's not signed by the t-shirt, I make it sound like it is. No, you get a t-shirt as well. So make sure to go and check out Apex Construct, make sure to follow Fast Travel Games on Twitter for different tips and shit and that's it, that's the nice 
tournament for you. And another bit of news I want to talk about, Beat Saber, once again, this game being best selling PlayStation VR game of the month, second month in a row in Europe and in US, Beat Saber is the king and it seems like it's the hottest shit in the village at the moment and everyone wants to play it so congratulations to the team for making an awesome game and also don't forget they currently working on sticking brand new songs into the game shouldn't be long they just coding it and then they will release it anyway let me talk a bit about the most downloaded games of 2018 for playstation vr here you go this is the list for you first of all yes beat saber is the king as always nice to see skyrim being fourth super hot still doing well what really surprised surprises me is Firewall Zero Hour being only 17th most downloaded game. So it's actually not as popular as it seems, even Static outsold it, but Static been out much longer, but to say Firewall out from summer, hmm, it's only like few places about, bravo team, what it's doing on that list, how's that happened? But anyway, Rick and Morty of course just by the name, Robinson the Journey doing well, so yeah, very nice list, nice to see we are doing well, kind of disappointed and also Astrobot which I would think would be right at the top, is not. Of course, Borderlands is nowhere to be seen in this list, released late in December. But yeah, sometimes, like, some games I don't even see my, like, games I like. Like, where's Wipeout and shit? What's happening? But anyway, that's the list. Very nice. And that's it. Bye.